filming or building, but patient privacy. Mm -hmm. So unless they're signing waivers that say that they're willing to be on your camera, we have to protect their privacy. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, look, it's a tutu train. Tutu. We have the freeway right next to us. Might be a bit noisy. So we are here at the uh, Utah Medical Marijuana Pharmacy. So it's, Utah is medically cleared to be able to smoke and take your whatever the hell it is. I don't know what it's called. I'm innocent. I know none of that stuff. So my question right now is, is it a uh, government building? or is it a privately owned building? I know it's all regulated, but I don't know the difference if it is or not. Couldn't find it. Can't tell if the state of Utah actually owns it somehow. So let's see. And as you can see, there's no really sidewalks anywhere, so I'll stay on the road. So this is the building right here. It's pretty, pretty simple, stupid, huh? Look how pretty the mountains are. The clouds. So it's still a Class B misdemeanor. I believe it's a thousand uh, dollar fine with six months of possibility of jail. And the next to it is a CBD and Kratom. Kratom. It's called. Uh, Deseret Wellness. It's kind of a cool name. Probably Deseret Industries. So, me personally, I'm 100% totally fine with legalized marijuana. Even though I don't partake myself, still that definitely legalize it. I do wonder how hard it is to get the, uh, get the license too. What qualifications do you have to have? Medical cannabis evaluation. Interesting. any of these people's faces with information and care less really I'm just trying to find out if this is a uh, government the government owned building or is it private and I know it's a weird question but in Utah they own the stick the state liquor stores so you can't buy hard alcohol in the city of Utah unless it's bought through the state I'm wondering if it's the exact same thing as medical marijuana. The only hiccup I can think in my head is that because medical marijuana is federally illegal, that the state would be not allowed to own it because of federal law. But I don't know.
couple of questions. Sure. So the Department of Health, you saw the Department of Health, they regulate, they don't, the state doesn't own the building, right? Correct. So it's a privately owned building. Correct. Okay, cool. And then they just regulate all the... Yeah, so any of the medical cannabis pharmacies in the state register with the Department of Health. Okay. There was an application process, an approval process. Um, and so if, if anybody's not licensed in, licensed with the state, then they can't legally operate. Okay. But that's not state, not state ran. Like a liquor store. Correct. It's not liquor, like yeah. the state liquor program. Okay, okay. No. Awesome. Yeah. That was my question, really. And then it's all certification of work here. You have to go through the state to get a state certification. State background check, state certification. Okay. Yes. So yes. all that hoopla, but it's not yeah. a government employee then. Correct. Yeah. Cool. They're, they're private employees. Awesome. Yeah. That's all. So um, I think it's couple, pretty cool. A couple it's things. Awesome. One, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. My only concern is not about you filming our building, but patient privacy. Mm -hmm. So unless they're signing waivers that say that they're willing to be on your camera, we have to protect their privacy. So two things. One, if you'd like to schedule a time to see the building and all of that, I'm happy to do that. Okay. But I can't have you filming patients. I'm not trying to get them on my camera. I'm actually putting the camera up when they okay. come by. Okay. Um, but I'm in public, so if I do want to film in public, I can. And, and that's fine. I, so, you so I understand I, where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to like, find out who he is and right, why he's smoking weed. It's not my point in it. No problem. Uh, my point was to find out if it was government owned sure. and if it was obviously regulated by the state yeah, yeah. and then if it was uh, employees of the state. So yeah, absolutely. those three questions were um, and I, If yeah. you'd like, I'm happy to give you um, uh, like my business card. Yeah, for, and for sure. And if you have follow-up yeah. questions. Yeah. Or, I see this is going well in Utah and yeah, yeah. I don't see a police car sitting here you know, scouting sc sc people out. Yeah, before, so we actually have uh, three locations. Mm -hmm. There's one here, one Park City, and then we also operate the location in uh, Payson called Pure Utah. Awesome. Um, before we open each one, we actually partner with local police departments mm -hmm. because we understand we're moving a, a marijuana pharmacy <laughs> yeah. into their neighborhood, exactly, right? Yeah. So yep, yep. we have a really good relationship yep. with them. Hang tight, awesome. let me give you a cool. business Cool, awesome, card. thank you. Totally fine. So I appreciate you coming out and yeah. being being nice. I mean, no I know it's awful for a guy to film, but you know, I'm, I'm practicing my First Amendment, and also I really want to know who's controlling the operation here. Hundred percent. And you That's, can't really find it on online. It's kind of hard yeah, to go to the laws. The, unfortunately, and, the state really restricts what we're able to do from a marketing perspective. Mm -hmm. Yep. From an education perspective, we have more flexibility. Okay. But, by all means, if you want to set up a time for us to chat, I'm Perfect. happy to answer any of your questions. Cool. Oh, you really did the so. first, well, all three of them I really wanted to answer. You did really good. Okay. So, see the fire going on? Oh, maybe not. It's going to be a long season. Yeah, it's going to be a really bad season. Nice I appreciate you. you. Yep. Good, thanks. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.